Ryan, haven't caught up with you for a while. Wanted to start by asking about your, your recent AFCON experience. You reached the knockout stages with uh, Namibia. How was it all? No, oh, it was a good experience. I uh, enjoyed it very much. You know, it's, um, we achieved something that we've not achieved before in terms of, you know, qualifying first time ever and uh, our first ever win. So um, it was a good experience. Was that sort of the aim when, when you went into the tournament to, to reach the knockout rounds? No, our aim actually was to <laughs> win our first game ever. Uh, that was our first aim. To be honest with you, we didn't really expect to get through the knockout stages, but um, you know, just, that, that just topped it off. What can that sort of achievement, you think, do for, for the sport and the national team in Namibia? I'm hoping it um, opens up the eyes of um, you know, the people up above to, to invest in football to invest in, into the, the young lads, you know, the national team and just sports in general at home. I think hopefully that that's the case, it opens up their eyes. Yeah, and how much pride do you have in being part of that history? No, no it's, it's very um, big for me because, you know, I call it home. And maybe I go back home every single year, you know. Um, I lived there, obviously, I was born there, I lived there for 10 years and it's something to be proud of. How was it when you're away on international duty and obviously your teammates back home are, are still in action? How close and are you keeping on things? Uh, I was watching every single game, every single game that I could watch to be fair. And then um, I think it might have been the Fleetwood game that I was watching and I was just buzzing. You know, I was keeping a close eye on, on them games and you know, I was looking forward to getting back as well at the same time. How are you as a, as a, as a spectator, whether it be through that or through injury? Are you, are you any good on the sidelines or...? No, I, yeah. <laughs> I try to keep myself. I try to keep like a cool head, you know. I try not to lose, to lose my head, um, you know, because obviously it's a, a team sport and you're gonna need everyone in, in the game, and you know, you just have to wait your turn. Even if you're injured, you gotta keep your head down and keep working hard. What was the mood in the dressing room on on Saturday? Disappointment, I'm sure. Yeah, it was a tough loss, a uh, very very tough loss. Um, I was considering the other results as well, um, but you know, it's just one of them. We gotta pick ourselves up and go again. Does that make it? Worse or better when you see that other teams have dropped points? I think worse because you know it's an opportunity to create a gap and um, you know you don't get that you, you don't get many chances to do that. You battled to a really good win in your last home game over Stevenage. You've got seven games to go at Pride Park. How important is your form at home going to be? Yeah, it's going to be massive. You know, twelve games left, thirteen games left. Um, We've got to make the most of it, we've got to make it a fortress and when teams come over and um, you know, just try and be dominant in our, in our home ground and show them who we are.